Dynamics 365 Marketing provides comprehensive event management tools. This feature-rich platform enables near end-to-end -end management of events, but as there are a number of components involved, we've decided to provide a selection of shorter videos to cover a number of the key features. Note that we're going to use a trial environment for this, so we've put a link in the description down below on how to get your own trial, and what you'll notice is a lot of the dates and things like that in our environment here are not necessarily current because it's, a, it's historical sample data. That won't cause any problems, but it may be confusing to look at. So to start, we'll introduce the event management features at a high level, and we want to start by exploring an existing event in our demo environment. So here we've got the Contoso Limited Conference, and so that's a conference type event, and we're going to open that up and it's going to show us all of the details. And what we want to highlight for you here in the first video is really just the breadth of functionality that's available. We're going to do deeper dives into a lot of the things I'm about to talk about in subsequent videos, but for now we just want to give you the overview of what all this tool brings forward. And let me tell you, it brings a ton of functionality. So first and foremost, what you'll notice is there's just a lot of information involved, and that can be a little overwhelming at times, but as you really kind of sit down and start to work through it, it's all very logical information. So what kind of event are we running? What, when is this event? What is the registration count and things like that, which is feeding from our registration records and all that kind of stuff. So lots of information available and you can see across the top of the record here, we've got tons of different tabs that give us the ability to manage even more detailed information. For example, we've got the ability to manage our agenda and it gives us this great calendar view. It also gives us a grid view so we can add and see our things in order as we, as we wish. It also gives us the ability to create session tracks and then we can assign different sessions to each track. It even gives you the ability to manage all your speaker engagements and sponsorships and other information as well, all of which is going to feed to an event website, which I'm going to show you in a few minutes. We've got the ability to track all your registration and attendance. So not only does it track the, the who's registered and who attended what, you can actually go into really granular detail in terms of who attended which session. We also have the ability here to manage passes, and each pass can be set up to allow access to certain sessions. So you can have a you know day one pass that, it, that gives everyone just access to just day one of the event. Uh, you can have a full event pass, you can have a special event, maybe there's a, a certain selection of sessions that you want to enable for one group of people, and you can sell that at a discounted price and that kind of stuff. So lots of capability there. Again, lots of additional information. So you'll see here expected outcome and primary goal, some of the financials and some of our uh, you know, revenues from sponsorships and things like that. So lots of information that you can keep track of really to keep you organized, right? And this is all, a lot of this is just metadata against that event record, which means that you can then pull reports on that information and get a glimpse of your events by revenue or events by target revenue or you know, event cost or any of those things. If you're tracking it, you'll be able to pull that information out. So lots of cool features and functions there. And again, I've only scratched the surface. There's a ton more you can see here in our related list. We've got, you know, the speakers and session registrations are there, but also we've got hotel room allocations, event purchases, event activities, and so on. So I mentioned earlier that there's an event website. And so this is a, as I mentioned, a trial environment. So this is giving you, a, this is using a special mechanism to give you a glimpse of what it would be like if you integrated with a portal. You can integrate this with Power Apps portals or a CRMS platform as you see fit. And when this is just to give you kind of the flavor of what it would look like if you did that. So not necessarily what you would see out of the box per se, but if you do a trial, this is the experience you will have access to just again, just to set the context and give you an idea of what you're seeing. So you can see here, we've got a bunch of different events set up. I'm going to go ahead and click on that same one, that Contoso limited conference that we talked about. And I'm going to dr drill into the actual event page. And what you see here is a basic, but very functional page. It gives us um, a, a nice graphic at the top, which we can swap in and out and some detail about the conference. It also gives us the ability to see all the sessions that are attached and it's very responsive. So as I make changes in the D365 marketing tool and change sessions around and update dates and times, that information is pushed to the portal almost immediately, which is really, really handy. As I add new things like tracks or speakers or passes, those show up here right out of the gate. If you 
look down at the bottom, you even see sponsors are you know, brought to you by and it shows your sponsors. And so as you add more sponsors, they're going to show up. You have the ability to pop their logo in there, which is great, and give them some recognition for their, their contributions toward this conference. As you can see as well, a register now button, which gives you the ability to have people register right from the page and sign in. And you can integrate this with a payment gateway so that you can collect the financial components of this as well. So really, really functional tools. You'll notice that there's favorite food and first time attending those two questions. You wouldn't necessarily know it, but those are actually custom fields that we added to this form. And you can create any number of custom fields and create a, a very simplistic or very complex registration stream as you go through. So plenty of things to talk about over the next few videos. We're going to do a deeper dive into a lot of the things that I just touched on. We've also put some links down in the description. So I mentioned a trial, how to spin up a trial. We've given you links to some of the key Microsoft Docs tools so that you can go ahead and dive in even uh, deeper than what we're showing you here. But stay tuned because over the course of the next few videos, we're going to talk about how to create an event, how to manage registrations. We're going to look in more detail at that event web page and how some of those mechanisms work. We'll do some work on streaming events, which they've enabled here, so we can actually link to Microsoft Teams right out of the box, which is amazing. We'll even touch on the agenda, the speaker, and sponsor management as well in upcoming videos. So lots to cover over the next few videos. We hope you stay tuned. If you have any questions about everything you've seen here, either in the Dynamics 365 space or even in the Microsoft 365 space, reach out to C5 Insight. We would be happy to chat with you further about any of those questions and talk about how you can use these tools to maximize your organizational output. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day.